My name is Khadija Mella and this is Racing Unpacked. I'm at Bedford Stables today talking to one of the big trainers in Newmarket, Charlie Fellows, about how he trains his racehorses and what it takes to be a trainer. So how often do you train the horses you have here? So the horses generally they'll go out every single day bar a Sunday, so like me, we need a day off, don't we? But if they're running on the Monday or the Tuesday, then they'll have to go out on the Sunday and do a bit of work, and then they can have a day off after their race. Why exactly do you put the horses on a walker before they go out for their training? A lot of the horses will walk for a good warm up. If you go to a football game and you get there a bit early, you'll see all the football players out on the pitch stretching, doing their warm-ups, mucking about with the ball, and us walking and then trotting is sort of doing the same thing. When you take them to the races, what is the process of building them up to the stage where they're ready for the races? So generally the horses, they come to me when they're yearlings. That means they're coming to the end of their second year. And so they would come to me in sort of October, November time. They've never been ridden before. We have to teach them to be ridden, teach them to have a saddle and a girth on, teach them to have a rider on their back. All these things are very foreign, but they learn really, really quickly. And then from there on, it's building them up and working out whether they are physically mature enough to race. Some are really keen, like the class pet, brings the apple in, you know, really wants to do well, gets A's in all of its work. Some like to doss out the back of the class, make paper aeroplanes, <laughs> flick ink on the people's backs, you know, that sort of thing. And those ones are the really tricky ones for me to train. You know, horses will start racing when they're two, a lot of them, but some of them won't. Some of them won't be ready to start racing until they're three. The best trainers are the ones that can work out which ones are ready to go early on. So how do you define, from the yearlings that you get, which horses would be sort of the sprinters from the long distance runners? A few ways. You'd look at their pedigree. So you'd look at what their mum and their dad did and maybe their brothers and sisters. The ones that are difficult to work out are if mum was a sprinter and dad was a stayer, then they could go anywhere. They could be a middle distance horse, they could take after mum, they could take after dad. You then look more at the way they train and physically how they are. So is there sort of like a preparation practice race that you do before they go off to the races? So we do something called galloping. you're going up to sort of 85, 90%. You're not doing 100%, but they're not far off it. And I don't want them to work too hard at home because I want to save it all for race day. Do you ever observe sort of like a specific connection between jockeys and certain horses in your yard? Yeah, absolutely. Different horses and different jockeys get on particularly well. Good example would be Haley and Anasis. They're so tailor-made for each other. Haley's riding style really suits Anasis's running style and they get on very well and they trust each other. Definitely there are certain horses and jockeys who build up good relationships and just work really well together. 